the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate a feast of sorrows, Our Lady of Sorrows, and it is a fitting title to Mary, for she stood at that cross probably with not only sorrow, but uh, the heartbreak of total loss. This is all she had, was this relationship with her son. She had nothing else. And so she too probably shared in a very special way um, the agony and the suffering of that moment at the cross. But our saints tell us that that also is a great moment for us as disciples, as followers of Jesus. Because it shows the depth of love that Mary has for her son and in turn has for us. She also shows to us, and many of you know this, that when you're willing to love, will you open yourself to heartbreak, maybe even sorrow, and certainly loss at different times of that relationship. And so Mary continues to love, even at the cross, as an example to us of that love carries loss, disappointment sometimes, and certainly sorrow. But it's better to love than not to love at all. Because that love does bring us to a greater union and communion with God. It brings us to resurrection. Indeed, it gives us life and peace. So today's feast of Our Lady of Sorrows is an example to us of how far love can go. Infinite love can bear all things. And it bears us. And so today, this, this Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows, we might want to ponder, who do we need to stand at the cross with right now in our lives? Who are those family members, or indeed even the strangers, or even those who are going through really difficult time as people? Who are those people I need to stand at the cross with? And in solidarity with the heartbreak and the sorrow. Again, awaiting the time of fulfillment, waiting for that time of resurrection and indeed of peace. So today's Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows is really an invitation to stand at the cross and to love with everything that we have, knowing that even in the midst of the sorrow and the brokenness, there is a joy in the love. There's resurrection in love. 